Welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how to download and install Orca from the Orca forum. To download and install Orca, first visit Orca forum. So click on the Orca forum portal. And then using your username and password, log into Orca forum. Once you're logged in, Using the download menu, click on this. You'll be directed to this particular page. It has different versions of Orca. The latest one is Orca 4.2.1. Click on this. And now, normally you'll prefer the window version. So Orca 4.21, Windows 64-bit. And with the installer version, it is easier to install the Orca. So click on this. And then finally on the download button. Download will start. It will take a few minutes to download. So you have to wait for that. So download complete. Click on this. Uh, it will ask for the permission to make changes in your computer. So wait, it is taking some time. Taking a bit longer. Have to wait for a while. Yes, now they're asking you, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Say yes. And the setup is loading. Please wait while setup is loading. And then you'll get this window. Click on next. And again, next, they're asking you for the destination folder. By default, it is C drive. Click on install. And again, it will take a few minutes to complete the setup. So install is incomplete. Setup was completed successfully. Now close this folder. To check the install lesson, go to the C drive. And then, yes, there is a folder with the name Orca. So if I open this particular folder, you'll find large number of plugins, but the most important file is this particular Orca file. So this is the one, this is the executable, which will be used for submitting jobs in Orca. So let's check it, if it's working or not. So let's close this and Normally, in most of the ab initio quantum chemistry packages, especially in case of uh, paid softwares, you'll find an interface for submitting the jobs. But unfortunately, that's not there in the Orca. So we have to rely on the traditional method, and that is the command line. So right click here. Yeah. Either you can use Windows PowerShell or you can simply click on run and then you have to type CMD. It's already written there, but you have to type CMD. Okay. You are now on the command line. So at present, that's my personal account, motivation aid. Now you can navigate to any directory from this command line. So for example, if I want to go to desktop, but before that, let's check whether you have desktop at this point or not. So I have to simply put the command dir directory, dir, enter. So these are the directories at present available in my personal account. So you can see that desktop is not there. I know that it's there in the OneDrive. So what I'll do, I'll again type, I'll type cd, change directory space, and then one drive, tab, and enter. Now in the one drive, if I type CD, no, sorry, if I type DIR directory, just to check what are the directories present in one drive, enter, 
you can find that there's a desktop there. So to go to desktop, cd space desktop, enter. So you can see that right now you're on the desktop. So normally we are used to navigating through the images. The same thing you can do using text in the command line. So if I again put dir, all those files which are there, the desktop, you can see that in the form of images, it's listed there. If I want to go back, I'll type cd space and then dot dot. We go back to the OneDrive. Again, if I, because I have created a folder by the name lab for the Orca jobs. So I have to go to this particular folder now. So CD desktop, enter. So right now the desktop, then CD lab space. And if I now type DIR, there's a file named test.input INP. That's the input file for the Orca. So I want to submit this input file on Orca. How to do that? For that, I need the Orca executable. So I have to, from this particular position, I have to navigate to the Orca folder for that Orca executable. To do that, to type C, then colon, then backslash, and then Orca. So OR and then Orca. Then again, backslash, Orca, executable. Now this Orca executable is activated now. Then I have to write space and then I have to write the input file name. So test.inp space channel2 space and then you have to write the name of the output file. So for example, if I write test.out, the out is the extension name for the output file. And just to see what happens inside this folder, I'll open this particular folder also simultaneously. So if I run the job, you'll get, you'll see that many temporary files will be created in this particular folder. So go back to this and then enter. So job is running. You can see that various temporary files are generated during the process. And once the job get completed, you are left with few files there. The confirmation of the completion job is this blinking. This flashy underscore blinking is the proof that now you are ready with for submission of next job. Now, if I don't want to write every time the complete path for the executable, there's an, an alternative. So let's first close this window. Then through control panel, go to system, so right click, and then system. Then click on system info. So somehow you have to reach to this particular window. So that you can go via control panel, system and security, then system. Then click on advanced system settings. Then environmental variables. And then you have to select the path. I need to edit this path. So click on edit. Now the top one is my account. The bottom one is for all the users in this computer since I'm alone in on this computer. So both of them is same for me. So let's make changes on the, the top panel. So path, then edit, again edit. If you have various steps, then what you need to do, you have to put the uh, Orca executable on this particular path. So for doing that, 
semicolon and then c then colon and then backslash and then orca and then simply put okay okay and then finally okay done now i'll repeat the process i'll go to run then type cmd okay but before that what i'll do i'll delete all the files which got generated after you submitted that job so let me delete that let's only leave the input file delete this and then i'll go to that folder lab folder how to do that cd then that's one drive then cd space desktop then cd space lab so i'm in now in this lab folder the directory lab directory and then to run the job simply now because already the orca folder is in the path so i need to only write orca space and then the input file name so that is test dot imp space and then channel 2 the output file test dot out and then submit let's see if i am successful or not yes it's running similar thing happening there job completed again you are getting the blinking there so now we have successfully installed orca on your system you try yourself and then we'll take up further in our next session